Lauren Kim here and it's been a few weeks since Tesla unveiled its angular polarizing and let me say controversial cyber truck. So the truck was even trending on Twitter at one point. I know that everyone that we've ran into in the past few weeks has had some very strong opinions on it as well. So I think that right now is the perfect time to go ahead and do a truck off and see how the Cybertruck stacks up against the top three competitors across the metrics that truck buyers care about most. Right now, the Ford F-150 has been a clear leader in this space for a while, and electric trucks are just entering that market. I will say I don't think they'll be a clear leader in the truck space in about 10 years like we see today with the Ford F-150, but I do want to hear what you guys think after seeing the competition laid out side by side. I have never owned a truck before, so I'm especially interested in hearing from those who've owned trucks before. We know when it comes to EVs that Tesla has been sitting at the top of the EV market for a long time now, but the Cybertruck might actually end up having more competition than any other vehicles Tesla has ever built to date. I think this might be partly why Tesla chose to go with such an extreme route in terms of their design of the vehicle with kind of a win or go home mentality. If you haven't seen a side-by-side -side comparison, I think you'll be surprised by the breakdown. Big thanks to Road Comforts for supporting this channel. They've just announced new floor mats for Model 3 and now include front trunk and rear cargo mats too. They're perfect fit so no sliding around and beat the competition in quality and thickness. Check out the more than 100 five-star Amazon reviews from Tesla owners and find it in the description below. We've chosen the Rivian R1T, the Bollinger B2, and the Ford F-150 as the best competitors to the Tesla Cybertruck. Of course, only two of the three competitors are EVs, but it only made sense to include the best-selling truck of all time and the best-selling vehicle in America, the Ford F-150 in the mix too. If you're new here, be sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this one, but let's go ahead and just get started now. When laying these trucks side by side, it's pretty obvious that the EVs will always offer the most horsepower and torque. And since Tesla hasn't officially released the horsepower and torque estimates for the Cybertruck, we've gone ahead and used Motor Trends estimates for these two numbers. We know that Tesla always touts its zero to 60 capabilities, but this might actually be the one time people looking to buy in this segment will choose to overlook that number in favor of something more meaningful like payload capacity, bed length, and towing. Right off the top, you'll notice the Ford F-150 entry price of $28,000 is the clear winner in the price points department. Of course, being an icy engine truck, we know the true cost to own the vehicle in its lifetime will likely be considerably higher than shown. Let's first lay out what most truck buyers may argue are the most important metrics in a pickup payload and towing. The Cybertruck in its tri-motor trim is said to tow as much as 14,000 pounds, which beats Ford's most capable Super Crew 3.5 liter EcoBoost, which can haul 13,200 pounds. The Rivian R1T claims it can haul 11,000 pounds, with the Bollinger coming in last place with the ability to haul about 7,500 pounds. When it comes to payload, the Cybertruck is expected to lug about 3,500 pounds in its bed, while the F-150 can carry as much as 3,200 pounds, while the Rivian starts showing some weakness here, not only in its starting price, but also payload with the ability to carry about 1,700 pounds in its bed. The Bollinger finally flexes a little muscle here, especially considering the price point with a whopping 5,000 pounds of payload capacity, which beats everyone else handedly. Speaking of beating everyone else in an important metric, check out Ford's bed length. It offers an eight foot bed length, which only Tesla really comes close to with 6.5 feet. The Bollinger and Rivian come in third and fourth respectively with 5.8 and 4.6 foot beds. Although it's important to note that Bollinger's design allows for its bed to intrude into the cab, which actually increases its bed length to a little over eight feet. But again, that's with the rear seats down, so we've decided to list it with the seats up bed length number here. When it comes to ground clearance, 
Tesla dominates most everyone in this space with its air suspension it displayed during the unveil. But you can clearly see that Bollinger B2 is the only truck here designed with extreme off-road capabilities in mind as it can clear as much as 20 inches of ground in its highest position. As far as range, the numbers are also pretty competitive across the board for the EVs, minus the Bollinger which is expected to net 200 miles of range. And of course, the F-150 and its 26 gallon guzzler can get you over 800 miles of range. Top speeds that are not listed here are also pretty competitive between these trucks with them all topping around 130 miles per hour with the Bollinger once again coming in last place with a max speed of 100 miles per hour. The Cybertruck is almost certainly going to be the last one to arrive to the mix, so it'll be interesting to see with the direct competitors waiting in line and the likelihood of a later arriving base price Cybertruck, how this will all impact the sales when compared with the other trucks in its first full year of production. So to me, when you lay all of these together side by side, a few things really stand out. You can clearly see why the F-150 has been such a success. It offers incredible utility at an amazing price point and honestly very good performance. The Bollinger stands out because of its incredibly high price point and limited range. But if you're in the market for a dedicated off-road and rugged pickup truck, the B2 might actually be for you. But to me, I just can't see the B2 eating into any significant number of sales from other trucks on this list. The Rivian R1T kind of gives you the best of both worlds when it comes to having the luxury or modern and advanced techie feel that Tesla offers with a more mainstream design, at least when it comes to the shape and form factor. But the price delta between that and the F-150 are so far apart that it's hard for me to think that Rivian is taking any significant chunk of buyers away from the F-150 but it definitely competes with the Tesla. I actually think the Cybertruck is objectively the best buy here when it comes to functionality, performance, utility, and price. It has a massive bed with a payload over 3,000 pounds and a cargo capacity of 100 cubic feet. It can tow the most, and maybe less important, it outperforms a Porsche and all for the price point less than the base Rivian R1T. Now the subjective part of course is the appearance. You've all seen that this polarizing look has either been described as the most hideous car of all time or the most daring and coolest design you've ever seen that's been brought to life. It's pretty safe to say that no other automaker or CEO would ever dare to take the risk involved to move forward with the design so out there besides Tesla and Elon Musk. But if there was ever anyone willing to take the risk in order to succeed, it would be the same person who decided to invest in a rocket and EV company nearly 20 years ago, way before anyone dared to think that big or outside the box. All right, everyone, if you're in the market for a pickup truck, or even if you're not, I'm really curious what your thoughts are with these trucks, and especially after seeing them lined up side by side with the specs and the value that each truck provides. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, and if you choose one or the other, and why you'd choose it. Also, I wanna thank all of you guys for your continued support by shopping on our online store. If you're in the market for some unique EV or Tesla-inspired apparel or gear for men, women, or kids, make sure you check out our site, liketeslakim.com. Um, everything goes back to making these videos each week for you guys, and thank you guys so much for watching.